why we use data warehousing in real time and at what point data warehousing will be used in real time what is the ETL process why we use ETL process in real time at what point ETL process will be used in data warehousing what is the reporting part in data warehousing okay. like how it will be used these are the few questions we'll have okay first of all let us discuss about what types of data you may heard people saying that we are working with the data warehousing data or data warehousing tools or something else right people saying that we have a job opportunity into data warehousing streams that is working with various data warehousing tools like we need to know what exactly is this data warehousing for this, uh, if I if I give you a word saying that iron warehouse, okay. Here, iron warehouse means we can say a place like where we can store different types of iron materials, like yeah. screws, nuts, bolts, bars, or something else, which has mm -hmm. been getting stored from so many years at one place, like shared or cooled down where we are storing all this thing as an iron warehouse or a steel warehouse right in general okay. in the same way if I give you a word data where in this I can say a place place where we can store different types of data you can ask me a question the iron materials will be different like it will, uh, uh, where you can see material types like screws, nuts, bolts and rods but how a data can be differentiated right for that I can give you a very best example is that let us take an uh, organization by name ABC okay, which is established in the year 1990 this year is having Generally, we can say that our nation is established 24 years back, right? That okay. means it's having 24 years of history. This our nation is having different departments, like HR department is there, let us assume. Financial department is there. Marketing department is there. Okay, right. Every organization will have right different types of departments. HR means they will have all the details of employees, financial yeah. about the finance and the marketing, how the products are getting marketed, of that particular thing or something. Now, here I can say each and every department will have a set of data, right? That means data means like we can say HR details can be called as HR type data finance can be called as finance type data marketing marketing type data right can we right. call this no, we can do, we can do that. now here I said that I store materials into some place like some shop or somewhere right but where exactly in real time this data will be get stored? It should be get stored into some database, mm -hmm. into into table formats. But those tables will be under database. It might be it might it can be get stored. Let us assume organization in the initial days it stored HR data into Oracle database, and financial data into SQL Server, and marketing into okay. now. Four years, like uh, it passed uh, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 24 years. So every year, some bulk content of data will be get added, right, into each and every database. So that four years, data will be growing more, and it will become very difficult for them to maintain three different databases. And they will, they will now they will realize that rather maintaining a guy who knows Oracle, rather maintaining another guy who knows SQL Server and who knows Excel, and in order to rather maintaining three different databases, if they maintain HR, finance, marketing under one single database or multiple databases. Oracle database. So it will be easy for them, right? 
to yeah. see the data and moreover it might have lot of unwanted data and useful data okay you can ask me a question how an unwanted data and an useful data can be identified in a warehouse if uh, some pieces were got rusted and it is about to get torn or it is about to get unused so then we can mm. call it as an waste piece right in the same yes. way how a data can be differentiated as unwanted data and wanted data let us assume uh, you and me were joined the organization okay and we both worked for around 5 years period of mine and 5 years period of yours and after that some other ex got joined into the organization and he still was organization realizes that there is lot of people who left the organization and who joined the organization they want to see who are exactly currently active okay that means they just want to remove the data of the employees or some product or something which is not in use that means employees means who are not in active state in the present organization who are not uh, with the organization who left the organization that data should be get removed that data should be get clean only the data should be passed into the final database should be the data which are with the active data active fields okay yeah so how they can how they can project that how how it will be done in real time is when this scenario comes in rather maintaining multiple database they want to move all the data into a single database and moreover it should be get clean then etl process comes into life in the end. okay what exactly this ideal process will do it will extract the data and it will transform the data and it will load the data but we are not going to directly do any etl process in real time we obi developers but uh, we need to get understand what kind of data obi will connect in real time Okay. okay so etl process will be done so in this etl process uh, it will extract the data from three different databases marketing and it will transform that means cleans and it will loads the data into let us assume it loaded into an oracle database so where you have hr finance marketing where you will have all the data from over the years but which is the clean the data can we call this database as an warehouse database so it's a warehouse database that means which will be having all the data in a perfect format in a perfect structure which can be directly used by the organization in order to see how the organization performance or organization uh, value organization data how exactly as if now and how it is doing okay so okay. to do this etl process in general in real time we have some tools like informatica data stage oracle data integrator mm -hmm. abnisho like that we have some of these tools so which they use general most of the project comes in combination of oba will be etl process will be informatica mm -hmm. or oracle data integrator nowadays mm -hmm. some organizations they will do even with the data stage yeah here uh, so let us assume our data finally into oracle database now this oracle database is finally cleared so it's a warehouse database now from here our client let us assume our we have an organization head ceo he is not a technical guy he doesn't know the sql to write to the database and to pull the results and view he is traveling in an airbus and he just want to view the data on his ipad or a laptop okay, okay. that means he just want to see let us assume it's an automobile company and it it gives uh, it manufactures various models like hatchback sedans suv like this in that there were different variants and he wants to know the la latest 
before two years they released a new version of particular model and he wants to know how the sales are going on that particular model and that should be showcased so he should be able to select that model in the front end where it should be going to showcase in the results into the chart or visualized graphical format whatever he is expecting you understand get design okay then reporting tools can send to live our OBI is also reporting tool from Oracle Corporation what OBI can do OBI can connect to any database all the time databases will be the warehouse database which then gains the data so once it connects to the database it's going to extract the data from the database into the OBI environment and it will design the visualize it will showcase the data into visual formats okay. like charts graphs whatever it is okay you understand yeah uh, when OBA comes into line why yeah mm -hmm. so OBA connects to different databases multiple databases in real time but OBA all the time it will connects to the warehouse databases okay mm -hmm. so once it get connected to different databases OBA it can it can take the data from the different databases and it is going to showcase the results in multiple formats. Okay. When OBA comes into it, once ETL process is done, whenever customer is interested to showcase to see his data into different types of visual formats, then this ETL process. After this ETL process, OBA can showcase that into different visualized formats. Coming to history of OBA, Enquire is one organization. Initially, it started with its general purpose report. So after that, Siebel acquired Enquire, and Siebel released a version called Siebel Analytics. Till today, some of the organizations are still using Siebel Analytics. Okay, and Oracle acquired uh, Oracle developed in very good reporting tool OBA on the base platform of the Siebel Analytics and OBA started with first version with OBA 10G and till today uh, OBA 10G is also there but as well as new version in June 2010 OBA 11G got released and that version is available in the market and our training will be done on OBA 11G and apart from OBA 11G I am going to uh, highlight the things in during the training where exactly OBA 11G got changed when compared to the older version okay. where exactly OBA 11G got changes when compared to the older version in logic or some UI or visualization whatever it is okay. as an OBA developer or as a consultant whatever it is the job I just want mm -hmm. you to be get trained as a perfect OBA developer reason is if you develop apart from services installation apart from all these things we need to concentrate more in OBI onto the RPD and answers and dashboards that is repository development and the answers and dashboards is the front end display RPD is the back end logic here repository development will be done in three layers that is physical layer, VMM layer and presentation layer okay. and physical layer, VMM layer and presentation layer, these three layer structures we will be going to learn in training like how do we build with physical layer, how do we design VMM layer and how do we display the presentation layer okay. Okay. and physical layer is the first layer okay, of your OBA we know that OBA connects to any database right? once it connected to the database it should import the data from the database into the OBA environment right? yeah. once it started importing the data then it will be get imported first into the fiscal layer. Once it imported into the fiscal layer, that fiscal layer structure is going to be get captured with all the tables which you are going to use it for your report. On top of that, if you want to pull data from multiple tables, we are going to design a logic, uh, logical uh, kind of thing that we are going to design a join conditions here in this fiscal layer. Once it is done we will move the tables from physical layer to the BMM layer. This BMM layer is a structure which we use it for developing the backend logic of your reporting. Suppose you have a calculation like you want to calculate 
uh, a plus b or a minus b or a star b whatever it is in the calculation uh, mm -hmm. you are going to design here in this business model once it is done we will move finally into the presentation what are the tables and columns we design here in the presentation that is going to use by b that means the developers for designing the front end reporting in this kind of visualized forms can okay. you do it yeah i can do it yeah. You can see here, uh, uh, one is a tabular format and other one is a graphical format, right? Mm -hmm. Tabular format is like which you are going to see, uh, which product and which month it was shipped and what is the revenue. So that any common layman, whatever the department manager, it is provided. If a report is transferred to your friend, your friend also can understand right? what exactly yeah. this is. So mm -hmm. we will make database level data visually showing in an analytical and an understandable form. That's what OVA designs. First, first till yellow line, these are related to the repository development, which we will be getting mainly in each and every project. Okay.